I just wanted to, to return to kind of a few of the, the big themes from, from this class and sort of remind you of a few of some of what I think are the, 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 the interesting themes and things that we've seen throughout the class. Um, one of the big things, of course, that we've seen is a lot of times uh, you've asked questions and I've said, I don't know. And that's, uh, and that's, and or nobody knows. Um, and so um, there's a lot that we do not understand about the basic biology of what goes on in a lot of these psychiatric diseases, um, which really, feeds into some of the difficulties in treating them as well. Um, and there are also cases where um, we get somewhat contradictory results and there's a lot of space to figure out what's really going on to resolve this. So these were these first two papers that we talked about um, where they had um, uh, different sort of conclusions, very different methodologies, but ultimately different conclusions about the role of activation of the orbital frontal cortex uh, to striatum connection in obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, Another thing that I think is uh, um, that even though there are a lot of things we don't know, there are a lot of things that we do know and have learned. We've learned, for example, that tau and amyloid are the critical pathological um, factors behind Alzheimer's disease. And yet, despite that knowledge, there's still a lot of work to be done on the treatment development side um, to connect that knowledge into treatments. Um, there are attempts being made with the, uh, with the um, uh, uh, immunotherapy, but most treatments for Alzheimer's disease, like I mentioned before, are based on this outdated hypothesis about cholinergic neurons, which, while it treats the symptoms, has really nothing to do with the underlying causes of the disease. Um, in addition to that, um, sort of trying to think about what, ca you know, what causes these diseases in the first places. Why does one twin have it and one twin doesn't? Um, uh, and there are a lot of different things that we can point to um, that sort of can be risk factors, resistance factors, um, uh, disease markers. But um, sometimes these, these sort of bar graphs obscure the reality, which is there's a huge spread. And you know why this person got major depressive disorder and this person didn't might just be a, maybe an environmental factor, but maybe they were both exposed to trauma. Um, a lot of times, we just can't figure it out, and it probably comes down to dumb luck. And that's a little bit frustrating to not to have, if you have a disease and we can't even tell you what caused it, let alone not being able to treat it, um, is, it can be incredibly frustrating um, and, um, and also hard because we want to understand what, we want to have something to blame for the diseases um, and, um, and, uh, and not, if, if, if the, the blame just comes down to bad luck, it's really, um, really unsatisfying. And yet I think that, that for a lot of diseases, um, there, is, there is a lot of randomness involved. And every variable we can identify, all it can tell you is a risk factor. It doesn't tell you for sure whether you get it or not. Um, and yet despite sort of all of these challenges, um, basic understanding that we develop does drive progress in understanding these diseases. Um, it's indirect and often very messy. Um, so for example, there was this study that we talked about very early on with, um, with how serotonin might be involved in therapeutic uh, 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 um, applications of, uh, of uh, ADHD and therapeutic effects of Ritalin. Um, that turns out to be not really accurate. And yet, the idea that off-target effects of Ritalin, like I mentioned over there, um, might be part of the treatment, led people to start investigating norepinephrine in ADHD, and has led to um, a new non-stimulant drug that I mentioned before, adamoxetine, um, Stratera, I think is the, is the, is the um, uh, brand name of it, um, that is um, that has been effective for a number of people for whom Ritalin is not effective. Um, and so um, there was a lot of other basic science research in mice and uh, clinical research between this study 30 years ago and Stratera being developed. Um, but, um, but that basic science did sort of drive this work.